Okay. I'm going to do a little video on this pizza that Kara made it. The classic uh, cauliflower instead of the pizza crust. Cauliflower pizza. I'm going to do a little react video here. Doesn't it? It looks good on screen. It looks, it looks delish. She said to use a fork because it doesn't really hold together. Let me try the. Let me try to hold it. Yeah, it's a little. Yeah, it's a little soggy. You can, like you said, you can. There's too many toppings. There's never too many toppings. It's like a supreme. We got this little cup. Anyways, but yeah, you can't. You can't really hold it. You're right. Like you said, you can maybe pizza. Or make it like a taco. Alright. Mmm. So, to be honest, without lying on camera, I'm about three bites in, and this is fucking good. I was like, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Crust even kind of looks like it. Looks like a real crust, just cauliflower instead, but it cuts up just fine with my fork, and it it actually tastes kind of similar but better. It's just not as it's bready. Not as bread, that's true. I don't like crust, so I it's bready is kind of a word. I'm gonna try one with a lot yeah, of stuff on it. That one's just crust. Uh huh. I just feel the topping one on So this is just. I mean, it's got. It's got a little bit of sauce on it, but. It looks like pizza crust almost. You know, like if you take off the sauce. Oh, well, you can taste the cauliflower that in that way. A little, but still, it's really good. I like cauliflower. Now, how did you get the recipe for that? I looked it up online. Looked it up online. <laughs> it's just eggs and cauliflower and cheese. Eggs and cauliflower and cheese. You gotta raise yeah. your cauliflower and boil it. And then Rice it, boil it. Put it in a rag and squeeze out a little liquid and water. Okay. Um, mix it with a beet egg and the seasonings you want and cheese and then... Put it all out onto a pan in the shape of pizza crust and flatten it down and then bake it for 30 minutes, like 350 and then depending on the size and then put your toppings on and put it back in after that 30 minutes and cook it for as long as the toppings need to be cooked and then it's done. I can eat this a lot. There's no carbs in this either. There's absolutely no carbs. Now you're gonna want pizza. Yeah. <laughs> now you're lit. <laughs> That's not like it was a really super quick thing to do. No, it took what half an hour. Mm, Could you cook? Half an hour, because half an hour just to cook the crust, and like maybe fifteen minutes to bake it, and then add the toppings and cook it. So maybe like. I don't know if you can hear that, but she's saying it's about an hour because you gotta pre-cook the the crust. Anyways, it's totally worth it. Especially because I'm hungry, but. I got, this one. I got the recipe on detoxanista.com. Detoxanista.com. Backslash cauliflower pizza crust. Backslash cauliflower pizza crust. Mmm. Detoxanista. Mm -hmm. Here's a shit. Shout props to you. And all those who came before you. Because this is my new jam. Should put green peppers on this. Mushrooms. Pepperoni. I'd like a little sausage. That'd be good. Oh, some yellow peppers. Mmm. 
get yourself some.